can change your life as it did mine. One of the most valuable concepts that I personally learned is that in order to reach the level of success, self-confidence, and prosperity that you want, you have to brainwash yourself. Yes, brainwash yourself. See, either way it goes, you're going to be brainwashed. But the question is, who's doing the brainwashing? Believe it or not, the world that we live in is always trying to brainwash you. They are trying to penetrate your subconscious mind. Florence Scovel Shin once said, if you do not run your subconscious mind yourself, someone else will run it for you. The media wants to brainwash you. Certain religions want to brainwash you. Advertising companies want to brainwash you. That's why they spend over $20 billion every year in marketing ads just to get inside of your subconscious mind. They know that once they become a part of your paradigm, your belief system, they have a slight level of control over your decision making. After years of research, psychologists have finally understood how the subconscious mind works and how to penetrate it at will. This is why controlling the masses isn't hard at all. Jim Morrison once said, whoever controls the media controls the mind. See, once you have control over someone's mind, you control what they create in their reality. So wouldn't it be better if you were to brainwash yourself? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to successfully reprogram your mind and brainwash yourself for the purpose of creating a desired effect in your life. There's nothing you cannot do with this knowledge. If applied correctly, you will successfully create happiness, prosperity, abundance, fulfillment, self-confidence, and so much more. But you have to be diligent in this exercise. In order for this to work, you have to be persistent and have a small amount of willpower. It takes a minimum of 21 days to form a brand new belief. Repetition is key. Let's get started. In order to understand how to successfully brainwash yourself, you have to understand the subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is extremely powerful, but also extremely vulnerable. Here are some facts about your subconscious mind. One, your subconscious mind is always on and recording what you are hearing and saying. It's even picking up what you are not consciously aware of. This is how subliminal messages work. If you fall asleep with the TV on, it hears everything being said and is listening. Two, it is a giant tape recorder. It records all of your life's memories and experiences. It stores all events as mental movies and images in the mind. Three, it does not hear no or not. If you say, I will not smoke cigarettes, the image that appears in your mind is cigarettes. Thus, you'll continue to think cigarettes. Four, it cannot comprehend the future. The subconscious only knows now. The present is the only tense that exists. 
That's why if you have goals, you should see them already accomplished. Five, our subconscious controls 95% of our lives. The subconscious forms our habits and we are creatures of habit. 95% of the things you said and thought today, you also said and thought yesterday. That means the conscious mind is only in control 5% of the time. Six, the subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between your imagination and an actual event. That's why you get scared with goosebumps while watching a scary movie. You consciously know that it's not real, but the subconscious mind cannot tell the difference. Last but not least, seven. Repetition creates new beliefs in the subconscious mind. Say or think anything long enough and you will eventually start to believe it, even if it's completely false at the time. With that being said, you can understand how and why there is a war out for your mind. One of the things they don't tell you that on a quantum level, you will literally begin to attract the very things you place inside of your subconscious mind. Yes, you attract the things that you think about most often. This is sometimes called the law of attraction. And it is a very true and powerful universal principle. It states that you will draw to you the situations, circumstances, people, and events that matches your dominant feelings, thoughts, and words. Your thoughts are a form of dynamic energy that attracts to you exactly what you think. Since the subconscious mind forms our habits, we usually think the same thoughts over and over again. And this is why we get the same reality over and over again. In order for us to consciously choose a better reality, we must reprogram our subconscious thoughts. And this is why you need to brainwash yourself. So how do we do it? These are the eight simple steps. Step one, take a sheet of paper and write down exactly what you want in full detail. It can be anything from a lifestyle to a certain job to a particular car you want. It can be anything. Just make sure that it's crystal clear in detail. Step two, begin to visualize yourself already having and attaining your desired object. Make mental movies in your mind and play them out as if it's already a reality. Remember, the subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between a visualization and an actual event. Step three, stop watching television shows or movies that contradicts your new belief. Since the subconscious mind is always influenced you want to give it the right influence. Only give your attention and energy to the things that complement your ideal lifestyle and desired object. Go on a news fast for 30 days. Don't watch the news at all and you'll notice how your vibration will begin to rise. Step four, create a short but sweet affirmation that implies that you already have your desired object. For example, if you want to become successful, create an affirmation such as I am successful. If you want to be financially stable, start your affirmation with I am prosperous. Always start your affirmations in the present tense, such as I have or I am. Remember, 
the subconscious only operates in the present tense. Step five, create an alarm on your phone that will remind you at a certain time to speak your chosen affirmation. Now for this exercise, I would like you to only choose one affirmation. Set a five minute timer on your phone and every day say your affirmation over and over again. While you're saying it, images will start to appear in your mind regarding what you're saying. Let them happen and feel the feelings while continuing to say the affirmation. This may seem foolish at first, but I assure you, this is a sure way to drum any new idea inside of your subconscious mind. Do this for a minimum of 21 days. Step six, listen to affirmations or create your own that complements your desired goal. Make a MP3 and put it on your phone and listen to it on a low comfortable volume while you sleep and put it on repeat. Your subconscious mind is always listening and is completely vulnerable in a dreamlike state. You will begin to adopt what you hear in the affirmations as your belief system. Do this for a minimum of 21 days. Step seven, begin to talk about what you desire as if it's already a fact. Let's say you're having a conversation with a friend about your finances. Talk as if you are already as prosperous as you want to be. In other words, use your imagination like a child and pretend. Act as if. Remember, your reality follows your imagination. Step eight. Repeat, repeat, repeat. New habits and beliefs are formed through repetition. Remember, it takes a minimum of 21 days to form a brand new belief. If you follow these eight simple steps, you will successfully